Now, who out there that does keto and low carb and carnivore that kind of miss eating a good old fashioned French fry? But you know, when you're keto, you can't do potatoes. But that's okay, you know? And I found a fabulous recipe. I follow this young lady on YouTube. Her name is Low Carb Love. Love her. She was she is ex absolutely excellent. Excellent. I just add an additional twist to that. So what we're gonna do is I have my oh by the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video to all your friends, family, co-workers, or whatever have you. And definitely I'll be uploading the recipe and all of that stuff after I finish this live on um Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. Caps TV and everything. So definitely feel free. Yes, indeed. And don't forget to purchase my merch. And the information I will provide is going to have a link to um, where to get my merchandise, Tina the Keto Coach. I have yoga mats, t-shirts, cups, mugs, all kinds of fun stuff. And it's very pretty and colorful. I think you all will absolutely love it. Yes, indeed. And thank you so much in advance for watching my show, Tina the Keto Coach. Friday night treats with Tina. Yes, so first for these french fries, believe it or not, I'm gonna go and use my um, coconut flour. I'm gonna go ahead and take, let's see, like six tablespoons, or six and a half tablespoons of coconut flour. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and then, oh, it says plus two teaspoons. So I'm going to grab a teaspoon size. One, two, two teaspoons. Ooh, and it is a warm, hot day today. That is for sure. Yes, indeed. So you all stay in and be cool and comfortable. Make sure you stay hydrated and all of that stuff. Got to be safe out there. And also, if you have to go out, make sure, um, if you choose to, wear your mask. Definitely. I wear my mask. So, you know, that's I feel like that's something that I definitely have to do. That's for sure. Now I'm going to put in three teaspoons of xanthan gum. That helps things stick together. Let me find, look, <laughs> look at my gadget here. Let me see. Let me find my teaspoon again. So I'm going to put three teaspoons of xanthan gum. Yes, this will make french fries, believe it or not. Okay, seal this up. And I'm going to turn on the water so it can get hot. Go ahead and do that real fast, real quick. Um, and I'm going to also use a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Wow, isn't that interesting? And these are, and they do actually taste like McDonald's french fries. Get my one third of a cup measuring cup out here. Wow, this is, uh, this is I'm happy because cheese is in it. So that's my thing anyway. That's one thing about doing, um, let's say, um, kind of well, keto and low carb, high fat. If you can tolerate cheese, you can eat your cheese. And those of you that have issues with dairy, some of you can do the Parmesan cheese because that's considered one of your hard cheeses. Okay, let me go ahead. This water got nice and hot because you need the hot water for the xanthan gum to help bind the ingredients together. So what I'm going to do is take seven and a half tablespoons of hot water. Let me mix some of that together. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let me get the half. Now I made these last week. I found I had to do maybe a little bit more water. So I'm going to put this on the side and mix this up and get you a small spatula to combine all your ingredients together. I was quite pleased with this. I cut them like they were steak fries. They came out pretty good. Even my husband liked them. I'm going to put a little bit of Mrs. Dash um, garlic and herb. I like to I love this, just to give it a little pickup. So this will turn into kind of a like, let's say a dough. I'm gonna mix all of this together. How's everybody doing out there? You know, feel free to inbox me, DM me, you know ask questions. Are there any other recipes you'd like for me to try out? What is your favorite food, your favorite go-to food that you like to convert and change to keto or low-carb, high-fat? You know, that's part of the game as far as having success in your program. Make sure you already have on hand your go-to foods, things that you know you will go and eat. You know, when you're tired, when you're coming home from work, you know, when you're busy, things that you can carry with you. I'm um, see, I'm going to add some more water about another tablespoon of this. That's what I'll do. So what do you go? In other words, you always consider and think of things that will keep you from, let's say, falling off the wagon when you're trying to watch your um, dietary intake, no matter what type of program that you're currently on. And this is coming together. It takes a minute. If you don't want it to get soggy, then they won't form into the fries when you cut them. So what I'm going to make, because I haven't had lunch yet, after I'm finished this, I even already pre-made two um, beef patties. And we'll see what I'm going to do with this. This is going to be great. And I think I'm going to add another, like I said, by your own texture, I'm going to add another tablespoon of water. So that means nine and a half tablespoons of water, technically, that I needed to add to this. Because you want this to not, like I said, not be too loose, but you want it to stick together at least. So one thing about cooking keto, you know, most of the recipes that you'll find online, they're not going to be exact. And that's okay that they're not exact. You're going to find your way. Some things I make, especially some of my keto desserts, sometimes they can be too sweet, um, sometimes not sweet enough, or sometimes I make savory stuff. It can be too salty or not salty enough, but that's okay. All of us are learning. You know, there's new research and information about following keto and the benefits to your body, you know, and there are people that follow it that don't necessarily have to lose weight, but they have other um health issues that they may want to try to address or try to make better. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not licensed in any of those things. And like I like to say, only license I have is a driver's license and that's it. But um, I stumbled upon this years ago as low carb, high fat. And I noticed the benefits I was experiencing from this. And I'm not one of those people that went on the program for a month and lost 80 pounds. No, it's taken me years. It's, I've been consistent for years with various changes and adapting to my lifestyle and bringing this about in my lifestyle. So it's taken me a while, you know, so don't feel bad if it may take you a few years to lose 20 pounds or 30 pounds. Whew, forgive me, it is warm here, you know, where I am, very warm. I'm going to go ahead and it's like, is it warm or am I having a personal summer with all this perspiration that I'm doing? 
All right. So I'm going to mash this down. I put the parchment paper, by the way, on my um, island. And I'm mashing it down some. it down. Just take a minute. And what I'm going to do is take my wax paper, put on top, and I'm going to roll it, roll it out. This looks very dry to me. I'm not sure whether it's because of the weather. I don't know the location of the young lady that actually posted this, but you know, that's okay. That happens sometimes. So thank goodness I can go ahead and add a little bit of more water to it because I wanted to make sure it doesn't fall apart while I'm trying to put it in the frying pan. Yes, this is fried with oil, not baked. One thing about keto, people have to remember, you have to make sure you're getting enough fats that are keto friendly. You got to make sure that you're eating enough. This is not a low fat, low calorie program. You need to eat good meats. You need to eat fatty meats, fatty fish. You can eat those things. You can eat the meat, you know, and you got to make sure you're using olive oil, coconut oil, ghee, avocado oil, you know, make sure you're using those oils and other animal fat oils like beef tallow, duck fat. Got to be careful of the duck fat. It has a lot of omega-6, which a lot of us really don't need. So be mindful of that. That's an occasional treat oil. But stay away from canola oil, vegetable vegetable oil, and corn oil. Stay away from that. And yes, you can have lard, but not the hydrogenated lard. But you can have good what they call leaf lard. You can have that. That is okay. Let me put this to the side. I'm going to wet my dough a little bit again with a little bit more hot water. Just to make it a little damp. These are so worth it. When you once you make them, they are absolutely fabulous. I think this is this will be my third time making them. Of course, I have to adjust some of the ingredients, and that's fine. And you might not have to, depending on what part of the country or the world that you live in, because I know I'm getting a lot of people out there from different parts of the planet that are watching me, and I thank you for that. Um, and let's go ahead and see what we get. I'm going to turn on my oil, heat it up. And with this, I like using a pizza slicer for this. And I'm going to make them like the width of a good steak fry. Sorry, Instagram, let me move back over here. Make them like the width of a nice steak fry. Okay. Some people make them smaller. They're so good. I don't really have the patience for that. <laughs> you know. Um, and we're going to see what we come out with. I think this would make, I think you can even cut this in rounds if you want to make little um, party crackers if you want. I think that would be excellent for that too. Be creative. Don't be don't be afraid to be creative with this. You surely can. So I'm going to go ahead, let this oil get nice and hot. Might take a minute. Put this on the side. And while that oil gets hot, I'm going to go ahead and for my burger, I'm going to go ahead and slice up this onion. You know, while we chit chat, I wish there was a way that they had a computer where I can actually still cut and prepare and talk to you all and still, I guess, give responses. Mm -hmm. That would be great. I'm going to cut this onion down because I like onions in my um, 
on my hamburger. But I'm going to make the hamburger with a no bun today. And I'm going to cut this beautiful tomato a friend of mine gave me and my husband in his garden. Fre talk about fresh. Can't get no fresher than that. They're coming out of your garden. I'm going to slice this. Get this way healthy and out of the way. Oh, this is going to be fabulous. Love it. And of course, pickles. Ooh, I got that open. You guys have such a hard time with this. And I'm the only one in my family that eats the pickles, so I, these dill pickles, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick them out of the jar with my hands. It's just me, and I'm the only one eating it today. Yes, take me about two or three pickles. Let me taste mm, the end of this. And I have cheese. And while that oil's still getting ready, what fries, I'm going to go ahead and cut open my lettuce. Just going to shred a little bit, not a whole lot. Because like I said, I already made my beef patties and everything. So, the lettuce I like to take off the first leaf. Some people do it, some people don't. I do take it off. Discard that for now. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Put a nice piece of lettuce off. Not a whole lot. Just me and my late lunch. Nice having you all out there joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I tell you what, my weight loss journey has taken me on many roads and many routes. You know, my um, daytime gig, as I like to call it, I'm with Cameo Models International. Love them dearly. Shout out to Miss Renee Lacey. Um, you know, this weekend, I was selected to be in the fashion show for Macy's here in this area it's at Chesterfield Town Center. Um, Saturday is going to be a show at 1 o'clock and a show at 4 o'clock. So feel free to come out and check me out, you know, and we are following all COVID protocols. That is for sure. Cutting up this lettuce. All right, I hear the oil bubbling. What I'm gonna do is take my first strip See how it looks when you pick it up? Be gentle with it. Yes, yeah, some pieces will fall apart because it is fragile, but you got to take your time to be careful. And you let it brown on each side. Here's a nice book. See, one part fell apart, but that's okay. It's going to get cooked, too. Putting that in my um, oil. And yes, I do love frying things in a cast iron skillet. Yes, indeed. I think things taste better. And those of you um, out there that have issues with anemia, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical doctor. Sometimes it's recommended that you cook some of your foods with a cast iron skillet. Because that actually helps give you your iron that your body is lacking. Oh, this is a nice long one. See that? See that here? I have to remember to look in front of my um, laptop along with the Instagram, my, my phone also. Let's see if I can get me another piece in this pan. This is awesome. Like I said, don't be afraid. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and let those cook for now. 
I'll save the rest of this for later. Move this to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and turn these over. I think I'm going to use this to try to turn them over as they're cooking. Ooh, they're coming out kind of nice. Like I said, I wish I had an extra camera over here at my stove so you all can see. But then I'd have to pre-record and edit and all of that stuff. So that's technical stuff that I'm still getting used to and learning. Although it's fun. I love this. I love doing this. And I love you all. Thank you all for tuning in and watching me. That is for sure. Let me turn the other ones over and I'll be right back. Oh, they look so good. I think you all are going to love them when you see them. They look so good. And my oil of choice is usually avocado oil, but I ran out. But instead, this time I'm using olive oil with a little bit of butter to fry them in. hamburgers. Let me get my salt. Here it is. I usually have it there on my kitchen table, but I had it over here this time. And I like to use Himalayan salt or Redmond's real salt, you know, whichever one that you like to prefer. I'm going to cut up this hamburger. Since I'm making a hamburger salad, yes, I am. And one thing about beef patties, when you're purchasing them for the store, from the store, make sure they're all beef patties, nothing else, no soy, just beef patty. Believe it or not, I got these from Walmart. So I'm gonna put this in the bowl for now. And I have my lettuce here. Add this to the bottom of this. On the side. I'm going to make this beautiful. And my pickle. And I'm going to toss around a little bit of onion. I like my onion softened or fried a little bit. I think it makes it gives it a nice sweet savory flair oh my goodness this is going to be fabulous let me move stuff out of the way Oh my goodness, here I am. Wow. Would you look at this? Put a little salt on them. I've never really been much for ketchup, but there are some keto where you can use some sugar-free types of ketchup out there. You can definitely do that. And look, 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 look at this. Look at that. Look. A keto fry. Big old steak fry. Mmm. Look at that. See? And they are delicious. Mmm. This is going to be a fabulous lunch. I tell you. Mmm. Mmm. 
I wish you all were here to taste this. And I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on my hamburger. I'm going to go ahead and allow. couple of keto fries over here that need to be turned over. Turn that off. And a few onions. Oh my goodness, these are so good. And then the ends, some of the ends get nice and crispy. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. It tastes just like a potato. It tastes just like I fried potatoes. This is actually just coconut flour, xanthan gum, water, and some garlic seasoning. Amazing. Amazing. See what you can have and still eat? Here, just taking off these extra last bits of the fries that I just made. Look at my onions over there. Amazing. And keep in mind, coconut flour is fibrous. You get your fiber, definitely. Some people are usually concerned. You know, when they follow a ketogenic lifestyle diet or whatever you want to call it, or low, low fat, high carb, especially keto and carnivore, that you're not getting your fiber. Yes, you are. Um, through keto, your almond flours and your coconut flours, and through carnivore, you're getting them through your organ meats. It's okay to have organ meat from animals, like liver, you know, heart, and things like that. Mm. This is so good. And let me get my onions out. I just want to show y'all, this is fabulous. And I don't really mess with a whole lot of um, salad dressings, but I do have one I'm going to use. Here's my avocado oil Greek salad dressing, which I love with a lot of things. Put this on my lettuce, my tomato. Put some Himalayan salt on here. Oh my goodness, look at that. This is my lunch. Keto fries, hamburger salad. Look at this. Keto fries, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> hamburger salad. So you see, we are really cooking here. And guess what? My table is clean. I'm going to pick them right up and we're going to still have them. Yes, indeedy. Yes, so I like to have fun and that is okay. I'm enjoying myself and enjoying life. You too. You all have a fabulous, wonderful, wonderful, safe and happy weekend. And just enjoy life. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and follow me. Tell all your friends and family about me. You can feel free to go to my previous um, shows and links so you can look at recipes and things that I've made. And definitely go ahead and enjoy. Thank you so, so very much. Bye-bye.